Councillor Warren Morgan, leader of Brighton and Hove City Council. I think the image of the Grenfell Tower against the backdrop of the London skyline is something that will stay with all of us for a very long time indeed. We all remember the victims who sadly lost their lives and the emergency services who fought so courageously to save lives last week. Since the fire in London, residents have been contacting me and other councillors quite rightly with concerns about their blocks, their safety in the event of a fire and what kind of materials are used in council blocks. There's a lot of speculation, rumour and false information so we're here to try and establish the facts. I'm here with two of the council's officers who can help answer some of those questions. My name's Michael Meek, I'm the Corporate Lead for Fire Safety for Brighton and Hove City Council. And I'm Brett Wells, the Health and Safety Manager for Housing for Brighton City Council. Thanks for coming out today. I think the main question that people are asking is, what caused this fire? Is that something you can comment on? It's not something that we know at the moment. We see the fire in London, the tragic incident is under investigation by the authorities there. There will be forensic investigations and until they're complete we can't say for sure what either caused the fire to start or, or contributed to the horrendous pictures that we saw in the media. I think the question that everyone is asking is, are they safe in their high-rise blocks? Well, what I can say, the buildings have all been risk assessed in case of fire. Um, they've all been inspected over the last 18 months and they're found to be compliant. What I would say though is where there are people, where there is electricity, where there are people smoking, where there are candles in use, there is always a chance that a fire may break out inside somebody's flat. So what additional steps have been taken since the fire to help ensure that people are safe? Um, all our external wall insulation cladding will be checked by an independent uh, surveyors and we will be checking all the internal parts by the end of this week to make sure that precautionary measures within the blocks are up to standard. In addition to that we've also had our housing department out hand delivering letters for the second time to all our high rise blocks informing them of what we've done so far and what we're planning to do. Uh, there's a lot of talk about the cladding or external wall insulation is the material used on our blocks the same as that used on the Grenfell Tower? Until we know exactly what was used at the Grenfell Tower, uh, we can't be 100% sure. This is why we're having an independent survey done of all our external wall insulation cladding. What I would say is, at first sight, it doesn't appear to be similar to the, to the um, materials used at Grenfell Tower. So what's your view about having sprinkler systems in our high-rise blocks? We've actually done a pilot system on one high-rise sheltered scheme, which is now fully operational. We've got two sheltered low-rise schemes that have sprinkler systems in, and we're looking at doing a joint-funded project with East Sussex Fire and Rescue on two other high-rise blocks. What's the message to people in the unlikely event of a fire breaking out in their block? What kind of uh, action should they take? If there's a fire in somebody's flat, then they should leave, raise the alarm, close the door behind them sure everyone in the flat is alerted and leaving the building. If there's a fire elsewhere in the building, residents should be safe until they're advised otherwise, usually by the fire and rescue service, who will be called straight away. The safety of our residents, our tenants, is absolutely paramount to us at Brighton and Hove City Council. As soon as we find out the facts from what happened in London, we'll do everything we can to ensure that all actions are adopted. We'll be clear about what's happening, we'll be clear with tenants, we'll communicate with them. So in the meantime, I'd like to reassure tenants that we are doing all we can in this circumstance to find out the facts and to give them the information that they need.